Hello, welcome to SSD Tech Susan this side. And today we are going to see the parameters inside the data flows. So, what is the parameters inside the data flow and where we can use that to make more flexible the data flows? So, basically, mapping data flows in the Azure Data Factory supports the use of the parameters. So, basically, we can use the parameters inside the data flows. We can define the parameters inside your data flows definitions and use them throughout your expressions so that we will see in this video after that use this capability to make your data flow general purpose flexible and reusable you can parameterize data flow settings and expressions with these parameters so if it's not very clear right now so don't worry go to in the browser and we'll try to understand the requirement first so here we are under the blob storage and in this blob storage under this input folder we have one of the file that is a sales.csv file so this file is having the data for the sales like sales order id sales order date then the customer id then quantity then value and then country so what is our requirement so we just want to load the data from this sales.csv file to another file in the output folder and we want to load the data as per the country so we will be going to pass the country as an input parameter and only data for that country will be loaded in the output so this is the requirement so for filtering the country we have to create the parameter inside the data flows so go to on the azure data factory and we'll try to see in the practical so here let me try to add a new data flow so let me call this data flow as data flow parameter. Now, here we have to add the source. So we can click on this add source. So we can scroll a little bit upside. So we have already created the data set for that source. So that is the sales data. So we can select that one. Let me open this so we can see the data. So this is pointing the input folder of the sales.csv file. If we can preview the data, then we will see the same data as we have seen there. So it has all the country's data. Now we can go here. So after that, we have to do the filter. So before going to use the filter here, first let me try to create the parameter. So we can click outside this source and here we can see the parameters and settings. Only these two options are available. So under the parameter, let me click on new and this parameter, let me call this parameter as country. And here we can see the type. So type is the string that is okay. Now we can click on this plus symbol to add the filter. So here we can see the filter transformation in the bottom side. So that we have already discussed. So we can click on this filter. Now here we can see the filter on. So on which basis we want to do the filter. So go to the expression. We want to filter the country by using the parameter. So here we can see the country. So we can select that one. This country value should be equals to here. We can see the parameter, which is this country. So this is going to indicate with the dollar symbol. So this is the parameter and this is the column. So we can save and finish. And here, let me go in the data preview and try to refresh it. So we will be going to see the data. So we have to specify the country parameter value here. So let me add the India, then click on save. So by default, we have to specify the value for the parameter. So it is saying an error. We can go in the parameter and try to specify some default value here. So the default value I am going to specify as an India. So this is the default value for the parameter and click on OK. Now go to the filter again and go to the data preview and try to refresh it. So this time it should have the data here that will be going to filter for the India only. So as here we could see, we have all the data for the India only. Now we can add this in the sync. So we can click on this sync. So here we can use the inline data query. So this option, the middle one, and here we have to select the type. So the type that is the delimited text. So we can select that one. And after that, we can see the link service. So that should be SSU testing. Go to the setting and here try to select the folder by which we want to keep the file. So that should be in the output folder. 
and then we can click on ok now here we can see first row as header so we can select this checkbox then after we can see the file name option so this would be output to single file and then the file name the file name that should be sales data now everything is ok we can go in the optimize and select the single partition in the data preview now we should see the data for the India only because we have specified the default value of the parameter as an India so here we could see the data only for India now let me try to publish this so this is going to publish in between let me go in the pipeline and try to add a new pipeline here and this pipeline we can call the data flow here so something like data flow activity to execute the data flow that we have created and here let me go in the setting and try to select the data flow that we have created like this one now here if you can go in the parameters so this is going to expect and parameter of the country so by default we had specified the value as an India so we can see there but we don't want to hard code value here we just want to create the parameter on the pipeline level and this parameter again for the pipeline country something like that we can call and this is the string now we can go in the data flow and here instead of the default value we can click on this and after that pipeline expressions we can go and here we want to specify the value that should be pipeline country so what it will do here we have created one of the parameter in the pipeline level so this is going to pass into the country which is in the data flow level and as per this the data will be going to filter under the data flow activity let me try to debug it so it will be going to ask the value of this so i am going to specify usa so your output file will be going to have the data only for the usa country so here it is executing let me go in the blob stories and here go to the output folder of this so this is the output folder and here we can see this file so let me open this file and this file will have the data only for USA let me go in the edit so we will see so here we can see the USA let me go back to here again and this is executed successfully let me try to debug it again and this time I want to keep the file as India so we can click on OK so this time this file will be replaced by the new data and that data will be going to have the country as an in India so we can refresh so here we can see it has the data for the India only go back to the Azure data factory so this is the use of the parameter so we can specify the parameter at the runtime and that parameter values we can use under the data flow let me recap what we have done in this video so first we have created one of the parameter under this data flow and that parameter is the country and default value we have specified as an in India here so we are going to use this parameter while doing the filter from the source by using this filter transformation and after that we are loading that into the sink and this parameter value we are getting from the pipeline so on the pipeline level again we have created one of the parameter that is the pipeline country and in the data flow activity under the parameters it is expecting an parameter from here so we have specified whatever the parameter that we have created on the pipeline level so this is the use of the parameters inside the Azure data factory under the data flow so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video